Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard video, episode number 304. In today's video guys, we have got a first, and after 203 episodes, this being the 204th, there aren't many things I actually can do in Supercard that are firsts. But this is one of the very last things that I have not done yet on my YouTube channel for WWE Supercard and I'm very excited to be doing this in this video. Let me know down below in the comments if you will be doing the same thing and if you guys already guessed what it is, well, nice, good on you, very good on you and I'll reveal what that is after we get our fusion. So let's go and claim a hardened fusion. Who are we looking for? Alicia Fox, that's it. That's the only one I'm missing. Can this be the Cruiserweight Mid-Title Championship? No, damn it. And that wasn't my joke. It's not an original joke. I got that. I got that joke from someone. Uh, well, channel, I think. Um, so, yeah, if you guys thought that was funny, then. <laughs> um, King of the Ring. Yay. We're not doing very good in it. But realistically, God, these King of the Rings are hard. Um, because, yeah, I mean, no one's really, really doing well except from, like, Brad and Chris. But everyone, like, you see 12 and 8, and I'm, what, uh, 11 and 10. So, it's... Everyone's losing games, quite a bit of them. I mean, I got just got beat by Chris, and look what card he's got. Look, look at look at look at this card. Boom, Kangol Pro. I mean, wow. So these last couple of days, guys. Obviously, I've been I've been charging. I've been trying to get some resets. I've been playing RTG, but I've also been playing Money in the Bank. And you guys have known in the last couple of weeks, been trying to get some contracts and it hasn't been really working very much but I'm very motivated now because of the new rewards and I'm not sure if I've showed this in the in a YouTube video I'm pretty sure I did it on the stream yesterday but we do have new rewards and they're SummerSlam 17 cards thank god for that I thought they were going to be um, Wrestlemania cards so I'm really really happy about that and let's just see who we got of course it's a Roman Reigns and a Brock Lesnar you know feels like these two cards are always in, in Money in the Bank. Um, so what we're going to do, guys, in today's episode is we're going to cash in on Barack Lesnar. Now, the reason I was hesitating about this is because I'm scared that something awful might happen where I don't get a pro Brock. But I think if I get it, if I get one of them, it will, it will really motivate me to get the other one. And I think this is a very smart decision. It's very early on into this tier. You know, I, I, I want to spend stuff. You know, I want to do it. I'm going to go and cash it in right now, guys. Barack Lesnar, Money in the Bank, SummerSlam 17 card. This is my first cash in in a Money in the Bank, I'm pretty sure, since I got the Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns um, WrestleMania, original WrestleMania Money in the Bank cards. I might have be, I might have actually cashed in for something else, maybe. Maybe when uh, Season 3 stuff first came out, I might have cashed in for Hard and Really. I'm not too sure. But yeah, obviously this is the first time I'm getting one of the featured ones for this many contracts. Let's do it! Boom! <laughs> I can't believe I just did it! Whoa! Just spent so many contracts. There it is, guys. Barack Lesnar. Look at those stats. Can't wait to get this card, bro. There he is. Um, if, I can tr if I can grind it out and get a pro soon... Obviously, we're obviously short a little bit, not too much. We're not, we're not, we're not that far off of it, realistically. It, this time next week, or even a bit sooner, I'm hoping I can get this Lesnar, and that way, with the remaining uh, time before the new offers, maybe I can grind out a couple more, couple more contracts, and hopefully be able to cash in maybe on the next cycle, uh, or maybe the cycle after that, which will most likely be a female. There's always, there's always a female there somewhere. So there we go, guys. There's that Brock Lesnar cash in. Feels weird now, only having like fifteen thousand contracts. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on to SummerSlam cards. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and lock him in. I like the card design actually. I do, I do. It's well, it's very different from uh, from these, so I like I like it. I like it. And obviously, we're gonna put the best picture of Brock Lesnar on this card that's in the game, and that is that one. It's as simple as that. It it doesn't look very clean. It doesn't look very kind of HD ish, but. I just, it's, that's, that's the picture I'm gonna, I'm gonna rock with. It just, it has to be. You know, there, there is no other picture that. <sighs> oh no! Oh no! I think that one's better. I honestly think that one's better, just because this is. Does I just? Ugh. Why couldn't it look nice? Oh, that one's that one's the same, isn't it? The way he's turned around, looking over his shoulder. Oh no, that's the other way. Um. 
that one's up. Oh, what about that one? Oh, it's gonna have that stupid blue glow, isn't it? Uh, it doesn't really look like Brock, does it? Actually, uh, it doesn't doesn't look like him at all when he's doing that. Oh god, this is tough. This is tough. Yeah, it's gonna. It's it's just gonna have to be. It's just gonna have to be. We've got to show that image off. It's gonna have to be. And we're also gonna level this card up because I want you guys to see. Uh, how it compares to other SummerSlam cards I've got, how it compares to Kurt Angle, um, taking into 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 fact that uh, Kurt Angle is um, has he's got his has got his games played. So we're just going to chuck in a Ty Dillinger there because yeah, that's going to get it done straight away. There it wow, that's mental. That's just mental. Wow. Okay, so add a thousand on. Well, I haven't even tokened him yet. I haven't even tokened him yet. Oh my goodness. Okay. Come on. That's a ridiculous card. That is a ridiculous card. Okay, so you literally... Well, how, how much is it? Yeah, you, okay. Basically, you add 1,000 on every stat. 41,600. So... Doesn't beat Angle, but it's very close. And it might just beat Angle. Probably won't, though. Plus 28. That's... Plus 28 would be plus... 32 for Brock's power is his best stat. 32, I don't know, it would be very close. Uh, then 41, 300, 41, about 41, 200, I would say. Uh, 40, so it's very, 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 very close. Obviously, charisma is the. We don't really want to talk about charisma. Um, <laughs> It's gonna wow! It's, it's it's a good card. It's honestly it's it's not obviously it's not gonna be as just as good as Kurt, but it's gonna get very close to it, and that that's exciting. If you compare him to just like this Jey Uso card, for example, that is insane. So that's cool. Uh, very happy with that. That's another Summer Slam card. I'm honestly gonna do my best to grind out money in the bank. But enough talk about all of that. Uh, two actually, no, sorry, one little thing before we actually get into. I think what you guys want to see, which is RTG update and maybe a bit of gameplay, uh, is King of the Ring. I haven't actually got my games played yet, but this is a win, guys. Very happy about that. And hopefully, we can get a SummerSlam 17 card. And the other little thing um, is the, the team ring domination. So after this RTG ends, the team event is going to be featuring the SummerSlam 17 card. And it is going to be none other than Akira Tozawa. You can check Supercard's Twitter if you want to confirm it, but they have posted that, tweeted that out. It's going to be a Kirisawa, which is not a pro for me, but I know I think a couple people who pull, uh, who got his, his freebie. So, yeah, Akira Tozawa, if you haven't checked Twitter and you have no idea about it being Akira Tozawa, and you've just learned this right now in the video, and it's a pro for you, and I've just hopefully made you very happy, um, then, yeah. Let me know in the comments, guys, if that is a pro for you. So here we go. Here we are, guys, on this RTG. Not doing bad at all, I think, considering I have worked a 12 and a half hour shift today uh, at the pool. It's just, as I said, it's just been insanely busy this weekend. A massive international um, cars meeting. Just insane amount of work. And I've been working for 12 and a half hours on, like, three hours sleep last night. So I am absolutely exhausted. Didn't get a single. I did actually. I got. I got about five minutes when I took a break um, to grind, but nothing. I couldn't do much at all on SuperCard. Um, that kind of sucks. And so yeah, th yeah. Considering I've been working the last two days, I'm gonna be working tomorrow. I think I'm pretty happy on being on Neville with two days left. Hopefully, we can grind about half of this Neville card before I decide to go take a little sleep. Hopefully. But yeah, let's get into uh, let's get into one, maybe two games, depending on uh, depending on how I feel, depending if I want to. <laughs> but yeah, as you guys know, games are long. So while we are playing this game, I do want to talk real quick because obviously I haven't really spoke about it. Maybe briefly in my previous streams, but Summer Slam, Summer Slam. Okay, like if I had to give it a rating out of ten, I would give it. It, you kind of have to take more than like. Th there's a couple of things you have to take in consideration. You know, it's just like th there are results where obviously I my, my favorite wrestler, the one I wanted to win, like you know maybe he doesn't win, but doesn't necessarily make that a really bad point unless it's like you know that guy definitely should be winning here. Uh, 
So, yeah, I I would I would give SummerSlam about a six out of ten, about six out of ten. Um, SmackDown Tag Team Championship match was just fantastic. Probably bar one or two matches, probably bar one match, my favorite match of the night. Um, I enjoyed Neville Kurosawa. I uh, didn't actually watch uh, Hardy's Jason Jordan versus the Mr. Rush, but I'm very happy that Miz got the pin on Jordan, so <laughs> that's good for me. Um, so pre-show, A plus, A plus. No, no, that, that, that's that's not that's not fair. That, that's, it's not that it's not fair. That's that's too kind because they the guy could have been just a bit better. And there's nothing, you know. There's perfection doesn't exist. So not an A plus. I'd I'd give it a solid A. Okay, no no plus, but an A. Um, so like, I don't know, 9 out of 10, for example, the main show, starting off with Baron Corbin Cena, awful, 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 not just, not the match, the outcome, the, the fact that Corbin seems like he's, I, I hate to use this term because it gets used a bit too often, but buried, literally, money in the bank, one of the worst cashes in of the worst cash in of all time actually on a roll up pin on a on a John Cena dis I was it was it was bad. It was but maybe Damien Sanders was worse, maybe. But but it was it was bad. And and then he gets just and he gets pinned by one AA at SummerSlam. Like who gets pinned by one AA these days, you know? Normally it takes like three and then a super AA off the top rope. And even then, <laughs> no. But like seriously, one AA really? I I didn't think it was great. I don't I don't I, I expected Baron Corbin to you know be like really aggressive. I lost them, you know, not just oh yeah, I'm just gonna beat you up, and, you know, stupid you, stu you know. But like it, it wasn't it wasn't that. I I don't know. It was it wasn't great. I'm not gonna go through all these matches as long as I, I have been, but I'm rambling a little bit. Um, I'll, I will take the really the good points and kind of like the title changes. Obviously, Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose winning the wrong kind of well, the, the wrong decision for me doesn't necessarily make it bad because obviously that was some people's favorite moment of the night. I'm not going to take it away from anyone, and I'm not going to say it was bad. For me, I'd have liked to see the um, uh, Shemaro retain just because as people have put it as well, um, when when you like. When the baby faces, like, they've just reunited, okay? And then, then straight away they win the titles. They, they could have prolonged this a little bit more. You know, everyone complains, oh, feuds, they're always so repetitive and it's always the same thing, like, three months. Well, with this, at least it, they could have dried it out a little bit more. You know, maybe maybe Seamus and Cesaro cheat to win. Maybe it's, you know, pulling the pulling the titles is kind of, a, kind of a shit finish. But I don't know, like, both feet heavily on the rope or, or like, I don't know, like, uh, up, 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 the, up, up the, you know what? And um, while well, the ref is like turn or distract or someone, and then like finish her, boom, one, two, three, so something like that. But but the Se Sheamus and Cesaro retain, and then and then you keep building up like Dean Ambrose and and Rollins maybe getting stronger and stronger, beating over a couple teams, and and eventually getting maybe at the next pay per view another title shot, and maybe then you put it on them, or maybe they get they get even closer than last pay per view, but they still just can't do it. Sheamus and Cesaro have out healed. They've they've they, they've just been they've just been heels and they're kind of cheated, but but not not that cheating. We're like, oh my god, seeing brothers interfere again. Um, you know, like the good heel heat kind of thing. And and you could drag it out a little bit longer. But anyway, Seth Rollins and Ambrose they reunited. Also, and they won the they won the belts. That's awesome for a lot of people. Um, so that that was that was I suppose a good moment for SummerSlam. Um, Next one, we're gonna we're gonna go straight to it. We'll just mention Natalia. Overwhelming that she actually won uh, the SmackDown Women's Championship. I suppose it's deserved. I don't really like Natalia, but I suppose it's deserved. Um, Neville re-winning the Cruiserweight Championship. I didn't really mention that. Uh, AJ Styles Owens. Yeah, all right match. I kind of I kind of I kind of liked the whole, you know, kind of come back th back and forth between like Shane and it. I thought that was okay. One of one of the best matches they've had. And then the main event, I mean, no, quickly, Jinder Mahal, Shinsuke Nakamura, pretty, pretty, pretty bad, pretty bad. Um, but again, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, Jinder sucks, he's worth, uh, just, just, you know, guys, everyone, you know, everyone needs, just give him time. I think, I think he's got the look, I think he's got, he's got kind of the it factor, but I don't want to take anything away from him. But Bobby Roode's in a whole other category when it comes to it factor. If anyone remembers that kind of gimmick from TNA, but um, I think I think he I think he could be really good. I think he could be a great heel. Gender if he was kind of booked maybe a little bit better. But 
yeah, it, it was a pretty bad match, but overall I think the winner was the right decision. Again, people will argue to that to death, but my opinion, I you have yours, I have mine, we should respect that. Um, and then the main event. <laughs> the main event. Oh my god, it was such a spot fest. It was just, it was amazing from Braun Strowman just putting him through two tables, flipping over the, it was just fantastic. The chair shot, the, 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 that was, it honestly, it was, it was a, it was a good match. It was a good match. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, I wish, I wish, I wish Smojo would have won, but can't have everything. Um, yeah, I suppose Brock winning is, I suppose that's all right. I, I suppose that is, I suppose that's fine. Um, I just really enjoyed the match. Roman ate the pin, so thumbs up on that. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. There was not a minute of that match. I was like, looked around, you know, like, oh, uh, get on my phone, look on Twitter. Nothing. I was literally like, oh my god, oh my god, this is such a good match. Like, the whole way through it. So, yeah, that was cool. I really, really enjoyed it. And there we go, guys. So, yeah, I'll give SummerSlam, I'll give SummerSlam a, 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 a six. It's cl close to a seven. But it remains a six. You know, it's closer to seven than it is to like. Yeah, it's closer to seven than it is to five, but it's still six. Um, just yeah, there were too many things that I, I just yeah could have been a lot better. It really could have been a lot better. Uh, yeah, so that's that's all I have to say. Uh, I that me rambling on there for what seems like fifteen minutes. Uh, at least it got me. It got me playing, uh, playing RTG and, and getting through the games actually while rambling on. So that's really so it's a good way of getting through RTG. Just ramble on. But anyway, guys, we are going to leave it at that. I'm not sure how many games I ended up playing. I think I played two actually, which is good. That, that's that's a good number. Got a little bit of gameplay when we got that Barack Lesnar SummerSlam 17 Money in the Bank card. Obviously, God, if I do not get another one now, I'm going to be. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be mad. But no, I, dude, we, no, no, we have like over a month to do it. it. It's gonna happen. I said under a week. Even if something happens, maybe, maybe it takes a week. Maybe it takes two weeks. But it won't. It, won't. it shouldn't at least. But we will get it. We will get it. I'm not gonna say 100% sure, but 99.9% sure. Because I've already said I'm 100% sure on so many things about money in the bank and never cashed in. Alexa Bliss and, and this and there, was, there were a lot of them. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, if you have, don't forget to drop it a massive like, that'd be really appreciated guys, I'll be hopefully live streaming tomorrow, again, it's going to be quite a busy day tomorrow, I might be very tired just like I am now, you can't actually tell that I'm tired, I don't think you can, because I seem really kind of uh, with it and, you know, kind of excited, but I'm not, it's... It's 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 the op you know you like you 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 get to that stage where you're really tired and then you get beyond that stage where you're like you're like this okay uh, I'm literally going crazy I'm, I'm going batshit crazy I need to need to go to sleep and there we go there I just swore there they're trying to go PG that that's bad shouldn't do that but at least I'm trying guys let me know what you think about all this PG stuff I know I only mentioned it in the stream so for people who haven't been following the streams I'm gonna try and cut down on the swearing on the on the on the whole overall bad language and stuff try and keep it. You know, I mean, I'll still try and be myself when I can, but maybe cut or cut or cut out the 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 useless kind of swearing that I just I just do normally without even thinking about it anymore. So I'll try and cut that out. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. Do drop a like if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So then, take care and peace out.